so the two games against UVA, JMU, going into that weekend, I had said to the team that we didn't, we couldn't set this up any better, knowing that we're already going to conference. It was giving us the ability to try new things, to try to polish off a few things that we knew that it's impossible to do in a practice session. So to have the ability to have two games that we could use for practice before going into tournament seemed like a win-win situation to me. A hard-fought game against UVA is always a great game. But the mentality the girls walked away with definitely helped us on Sunday when JMU stepped out and went man to man on us and extremely aggressive. They had nothing to lose. So it was something that we hadn't seen or played against during the year. So it was definitely nice to um, prepare ourselves for tournament against a very aggressive JMU. I believe that Northeastern will you know, play an aggressive style. We know Delaware plays an aggressive style. So to walk away, yes, I know they were both overtime games, but I mean, what a better way to prepare yourself going into tournament to have that many overtimes under your belt. Most teams you know, might only have one a year. I think we're up to seven plus. Um, so I think we've covered most situations with, you know, over time with two players down, over time with one player down, the scenarios don't get better for a coach when it comes to preparation for a tournament. So I was really happy with how we played over the weekend and obviously to walk away with a win against JMU is always a wonderful feeling. But I think that wonderful feeling was more about a 5-1 end of season victory for us. That it's gonna be a very competitive tournament. I don't think there's going to be any massive blowouts. I think the team that can be the most disciplined over the three days will be the team that comes out the winner. Um, I think both semi-finals will be aggressive. I think a lot of energy is going to be used up in the semi-finals, so I'm hoping that our fitness pulls us through in both games. But in saying that, you know, we're definitely not underselling Northeastern over the, the season, even when we played them at the beginning of conference. I, I sort of said to somebody, this team is going to be very good and they're going to upset teams by the end of their regular season. So just, you know, continuing doing what we've been doing all season, doing our homework on the teams, the girls, uh, presented yesterday on Northeastern. So the homework's begun and now it's just a matter of finishing what we started back in pre-season. Look, I, I, I always say to the team, I really, it, it's hard when it comes to award times because we live in a society where stats talk. When we play in a, a team sport, I think when your teammates get the awards, it's, it's recognition of hard work by everybody on the team. Nobody can do it by themselves. There's no way a, a coach can become coach of the year without having the support from coaching staff, athletic trainers, administrators. But the most important support of all is that their team has a belief in the culture that you create. So without um, a strong connection between the staff and the team and within the team itself where we're not going to get those awards so you know when we we know that we're getting co-rookie of the year when we get defensive player of the year when we're getting people selected to first team CAA second team CAAs and the rookie team it, it just is a huge statement to everybody that William & Mary is growing and we are growing strong. And that we, we always said that this, you know, this was a process to get back to where we were in the 2000s and I can honestly say I think we're there. And it's hats off not to just the people who get the awards but it's hat, hats off to everybody. Um, it's always a team effort when somebody steps up on the podium. So 
I'm just very, very proud of the, the team overall as a unit. But, you know, again, well done the girls who led the way and, and stand tall for the rest of their teammates by getting the awards.